In today's video, what you can do in 2018 to improve your metabolism. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com and happy 2018. It is Tuesday the 2nd and uh, we are well underway. And what's great about this time of year is a lot of people are getting excited, getting ramped up for the things that are about to happen, the holidays, everything kind of slows down. And then now we get rolling into our next goal and our next achievement. And um, something with me, as always, I love to do videos where the topic is kind of a natural inclination or thought that I have going on with my clients, and that's gonna be metabolism. And over the years, my understanding of metabolism has changed, and I'm sure it's going to continue to change because it's one of my favorite topics to learn, understand, and get more in depth with. Um, and I've been surrounded by some very helpful people and I continue to go to school and pay attention to literature and understand things on a different level and I want to I want to kind of continue to give back and um, help where I can stay in my lane of course so let's talk about metabolism kind of what it is what we can do to improve it and what that actually means and I want to actually talk about two different states of metabolism okay so I want to talk about acute metabolism and chronic metabolism. When I'm talking about acute metabolism, acute means short term, happens right now, okay? An acute problem is something that happens for a little bit and then it goes away. Uh, an acute change is something that happens for a short term and then it changes back, okay? So when I'm talking about acute metabolism, people will often say, when I eat something, my metabolism speeds up. When I train, my metabolism speeds up. Those are both both very true, but that is an acute change, okay? When you ingest some calories, in that response, your body has to break those calories down. And breaking down calories and using them is very dynamic. So that process is acute. Once that food has gone through your system though, those changes are not gonna stay with you. Very small portion will, but we'll get to that. Then let's talk about training or cardio. When you do training or cardio, your body again is going to burn through calories, burn through substrates, speed up digestion. All of these things are acute changes to your metabolism. So you are in fact seeing a boost to your metabolic rate during those two times when you're eating and when you're training. Okay, but it's not something that's going to benefit you long term unless conditions are in place for it to. So how do we actually change our chronic metabolism? Chronic meaning long term. If someone has chronic pain, that means they're constantly in pain. So when I'm talking about making chronic changes to your metabolism, that can mean good or bad. So what's a negative chronic adaptation? Well, if you eat very low calorie diets for a very long time, do any kind of restricting, uh, ultra low calorie usually means under 800 calories, sometimes as low as 500 calories per day. You do that for a long period of time, you're gonna get chronic adaptations to your metabolic rate, meaning your body is going to adjust and make sure that you're much more efficient at extracting calories and keeping body weight on in the future. Now, efficient sounds like a good term, but in terms of metabolism, it's kind of the opposite of what we want. We want a very inefficient metabolism, meaning we have to eat a lot of calories to keep our body weight up. Now, of course, this is because we are physique athletes and we are concerned with body composition. If you're concerned with survival, then an efficient metabolism is very good. But for what we're talking about, when I'm talking about chronic adaptations, meaning you've been on a very low calorie diet for a very long time, or even a short amount of time, there's going to be some adaptations. When I'm talking about chronic adaptations, that means things that stick around long after we think they should, or what seems reasonable. Meaning if you do a really strict diet for six months, to get yourself back into a metabolic state that is normal might take you more than six months, okay? We're seeing some very interesting things come out and the great thing about having as many clients as I've worked with over the last five, six years is that I've seen some things happen and um, I'm much more confident in my approach. If you're familiar with me, you know that I use a reverse dieting approach, which is basically how we build up the metabolism. So let's talk about the two ways we can chronically improve our metabolism. The two ways are 
adding calories. By adding food in slowly, what we allow our bodies to do is increase its metabolic rate without seeing a rapid body fat regain, which is really the most common problem associated with these rapid fat loss strategies is that yeah, the fat comes off the first time, but it also comes back on just as quickly because they don't understand to explain to you that after the rapid fat loss, you are in very big danger of putting body fat on very quickly. But by adding calories slowly, you can actually see your metabolic rate increase. That's one way to chronically improve your metabolism. The other is by adding lean body mass. Yes, muscle, the tissue in our bodies, if we add more of that, it requires more energy to keep it around, more energy to use it, to move. So metabolism is very dynamic. It's basically all the things that are going on in our body, all the chemical processes that are going on in our body that use calories, okay? So it's gonna adapt either way. It can be an acute change, like when you go to the gym, your metabolism is your metabolism's gonna speed up because you just worked out, now you got all these calories burning through you. Or when you eat something, your body is going to have to break down that food to save it and use it for energy and store it. Well, that's the acute difference. The chronic difference is if you can change by continually adding calories over time and adding more lean body mass, you will find that you get a positive adaptation to your metabolism. So for 2018, if your goal is to eat more food and stay leaner, this is how we do it. Reverse dieting, putting on muscle, and uh, yeah, I just wanna get that information out there, guys, because it's already starting to come in, I'm trying to stay ahead of the trend. So let's get our metabolisms kicking ass in 2018, taking names, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, guys, have a good day.